After months of anticipation, Boston's TV news landscape underwent a major shift this week with the official launch of NBC Boston. There was also a relaunch of sorts with former NBC affiliate WHDH trying to show it can thrive as an independent. Adam has more. Coming up next on NBC Boston News at 7. Yeah, more dolphins getting stranded on Cape Cod. We won't get a strong sense of NBC Boston's identity for a while, but the station's first week offered some clues. In addition to big breaking stories, there was news you can use. You should set small, achievable goals. A whole lot of weather. We have some precipitation. And plenty of nudges to convey that NBC Boston is owned and operated by the network. I'm not from Boston, obviously. I'm from New York City. I've been to Boston recently. Boston Globe critic Don O'Coin said NBC Boston saturated its airwaves with pointed reminders that NBC has switched broadcast addresses. Former NBC affiliate WHDH made a different kind of statement, flooding its airwaves with more local news. Right now on 7 News at 9. That new 9 p.m. newscast is part of a whopping 12 hours of daily local news programming, four and a half hours more than WHDH used to provide. While that might sound like overkill, anchor Kim Casey tells us the public will tune in. It fits with people's lifestyles, and it's live and it's aggressive. You're not going to DVR the news. Both stations are already trumpeting their ratings, but since it's been less than a week, any celebration might be a bit premature. So one thing, Adam, is uh, NBC Boston promised it was completely different. You're not going to see the same old, same old, you know, the weather, the breaking. It's exactly the same. Those two operations are indistinguishable. The only thing that could possibly save HGH is that it's still impossible to find NBC Boston. It's on 17, it's on 10, it's on 62, it's on 60.5. It's like... You are a much keener observer of network, uh, <laughs> network news than I am, so, but I still want to push back a little bit. To me, NBC Boston has sort of a... a sparer look, maybe a cleaner look, and is a little slower paced and lower key than HDH. They have said that they're not going to say every story that they're covering they is did. breaking. HDH, well, I think in that case it actually was. It was the guy who was arrested, yeah. who was, uh, you know... Right. Morales. Uh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas HDH is just sort of like, you feel like you're on an amusement park yeah. ride as you watch them, yeah. some kind of crazy virtual reality experience. So I see a difference, but I do think that confusion about location yeah. should help HDH. Well, so let's talk about this glut of local news. I mean, and again, far be it from me if, you know, the, there's an opportunity for watchdog journalism there, but I was going to talk about the Today Show. I was watching the other morning, flipping back and forth. So Matt Lauer's on, you know, seven, uh, on NBC Boston. On 7 News, it was 7 in the morning, and it was 20 degrees outside, and these poor reporters are out doing live shots of this was car crash, and this was the scene of a convenience store robbery, and if it's really the if it bleeds, it leads for 12 hours really? a day. I don't, yeah. know what, uh, you know, I don't know what this is going to add yeah. up to. I just don't know that there's that much of a market for all of this local news on TV. I think Channel 7's fundamental problem is that they've lost their network yeah. affiliation. And over time, people are going to figure out how to find NBC. And most news watching, it's just whatever channel you're on, you leave it on. And I think <laughs> that's, that's going to uh, I think that's going to have a really serious... That didn't used to be the case in the 80s and 90s, no, but it certainly but is now. It is now, and yeah. I think uh, eventually, uh, you know... Uh, Channel 7's family feud from the 70s lineup yeah. is, is not going to serve no. them well. Well, I don't know, because one of the reasons that, it, if it's true that some people just leave it on and you watch whatever is on, is because the people are not as distinguishable. When back in the 80s and 90s that you were talking about, you went for the people, mm -hmm. and it is still true, network or local, you will go to the people that will draw you in. This is why I recognize Joy and Shannon moving over from Fox over to seven of to NBC Boston. I call it seven news. And so I watched it on the first day because I wanted to see, well, let's see what Shannon's gonna do. Mm. I know her from Fox. Mm. Now, a lot of people are gonna follow people. There's LaToya um, Edwards there on NECN doing some N NBC Boston. Well, she'll be followed. She has a following. And obviously the people at seven are retaining some of the folks over there. So to me, it'll be interesting to see who do they take the time to build yeah, the community really. connection with, in which case that's going to drive the traffic. They do have an opportunity to do something different. Clearly they've chosen not to. Though I will say that weather truck thing is kind of interesting. I watched that about five times. Yeah. Over. No, we, we were getting a chuckle out of that because they were saying, yeah. you know, they've got a... Um, 
it's a camera inside so they can yeah. see what it looks like outside. I'm thinking, what's wrong with the window? Yeah. You know? By the way, just to Dan's yeah. point, I mean, what they say at 7, what they're hoping is that you're not watching NBC Network programming when it's live on the network. You're watching it streaming on your DVR right. or on the web. Yeah. So there's not going to be that same inertia effect boosting NBC Boston that you would have had like 10 or 15 years ago. We'll see if they're right. We'll yeah. see.